Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this morning, Verizon released their quarterly earnings. And then shortly after that, they had their Q4 earnings call. And I was tuned in throughout the entire call and the Q&A. And I just wanted to add some more context and give you guys a follow up as to what's being reported and what's out there. So there's now a lot of analysts are reporting a mixed review on the quarterly earnings. So in this morning's video, I said it was a huge quarter for them. They've added so and so many people, but their EBITDA was down. They didn't hit certain metrics and the market is now reacting negatively towards it because they're now thinking Verizon has to cut money or, you know, lower pricing to gain customers, which is, you know, which is true. T-Mobile has been following that model, adding perks. So it's cutting back on their EBITDA and their profits a bit but they're gaining customers. So Verizon is following that same business model and they want to grow the business and they have been doing so by adding a total of with everything. I think it was 1.2 million total ads for the quarter. So those are big numbers, but they took a bit of hit on, on, on hitting some of the numbers that they were estimated to hit. So a few things that I want to point out that I was asked in the uh, comment section is Verizon's network going to continue slowing down? Yes, I got to say yes. And the reason is because I was listening in on the call. So as you can see by this uh, title of this article, Verizon's network has attracted customers and consumed airwaves. So Verizon has always lacked spectrum, but made up for it by using small cells. Now we are including CBRS, more towers. But what's happening and what's kept Verizon's network above water and not crashing faster, 50% of Verizon's customer base is still on data buckets. And those customers tend to check more often as they don't want to go over their uh, data usage because it'll slow down tremendously. So those guys are really controlling their usage and they're not harming the network as bad as an unlimited customer. But now that Verizon is potentially shifting these customers over to unlimited, not that they're forcing them, but they are inquiring about the Disney Plus for free, the Apple Music. It's catching their intention, their attention, and now they want to potentially switch to the unlimited plan. So those 50%, that number is going to lower over time. Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and then more and more customers are going to shift over to unlimited plans, and it's going to clog up the airways even more and lower the network speed. We've seen the speeds slower over time. It's taken some time, but the speeds have slowed. And over, you know, the next course of the six months to 12 months, speeds are going to slow even more as those customers shift over to unlimited. Now, just to give you a comparison, AT&T, during their earnings, they've reported more than 50% of their customer base is on unlimited. And then, of course, Sprint and T-Mobile, their customer base is largely unlimited because they've had unlimited a lot longer than the big two. So that was just a comparison. But that's where Verizon stands right now. It's kind of turning out to be a mixed bag on the, on the earnings. Um, a lot of people reacted more positively because they saw all the people they added. But then after reviewing it and checking into it more, it seems kind of, you know, a bit of a mixed bag on the earnings. And then they did say talk about it during the uh, earnings call that they are going to look at monetizing the 5G and the fiber. Of course, they didn't say anything specific, but that $10 fee that they were going to charge, that's more than likely to come back. Um, and then they're, they're looking at monetizing the fiber. Uh, how, how they do that, maybe latency. There, there is different ways you can monetize. Let's just say... Hey, customer, you want five millisecond ping, you want two millisecond ping. Well, we're going to charge you extra for that and monetize that lower ping. So those are I mean, that that's not something they talked about on the call. That's just something that I'm throwing out. But I'm giving you an idea that that monetization could come potentially sooner than later. So I just wanted to make this brief uh, follow up. I hope it was very informational. Like I said, 50 percent of Verizon customers in 2020 still using data buckets that's helping keep the network above water. Everyone else is uh, using more unlimited. Everyone else's customers is using more unlimited. 
than Verizon's customers, which where it, what it comes down to. And then another part that I'll add in real quickly is the streaming. So even on Verizon's highest uh, data plan, they have streaming capped at 720p. And then if you want 1080p, you got to call customer service, inquire about it, and then it's a $10 add-on. Some of you that are now watching this video may have not even known about that or have known that your video is capped at 720p because on such a small device like an iPhone 11, 10, the Samsung Galaxies, it's really hard to notice a difference between 720p and 1080p. But yes, if you want 1080p, you got to call in, you got to have it added, and that's a $10 add-on to your plan. So just keep all, that, all of that in mind. And that's why I think uh, AT&T's video experience was a bit lower on, on open signal because most of their older plans, if you have the stream saver off and the elite now, they allow 1080p, 4K streaming, whatever the highest streaming is on the platform you're watching at that time. And it's now a bit harder on an LTE network to maintain that high of bandwidth throughout your entire travel. So there are areas where you get 5, 10 megabits per second, and it's, it's just tougher to maintain that 20 to 30 or even 40, 50 just to keep the, the, the stream smooth on the 4K video. So just keep all of that in mind. Um, that's why I wanted to make this uh, follow-up video just to give you guys a different perspective and more context as to what's really happening at Verizon. So definitely stay tuned to the channel. Lots more content coming. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload content. Also make sure to follow all of my social media outlets for more updates. This is Tyrone with Tech Life and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.